Hello everyone, I hope you all are fine. Let's start with your poem, My Mother at 66 by Kamla Das. We'll have explanation and new words. Let's start with the poem. Driving from my parents' home to Cochin last Friday morning, I saw my mother beside me toss open mouthed her face ashen like that of a corpse and realized with pain that she was as old as she looked but soon put that thought away and looked at young trees sprinting the married children spilling out of their homes but after the airport security check standing a few yards away I looked again at her worn pale as a late winter's moon and felt that old familiar ache, my childhood's fear. But all I said was, see you soon, Amma. All I did was smile and smile and smile. Let's start about the author first. The poet Kamla Das also wrote by her pen name of Madhvi Kurti. She was born in Kerala and is one of India's first poets. Her subject matter is basically related to her personality, beautiful, sensitive, bold and tormented. External factors do not reflect in her writing. Her writings bring out her true inner feelings. Her favorite poem is composition. Let's start with the explanation. This poem shows poet's relation with her mother. The poetess explains that once she visited her parents' house in Cochin. It was a Friday when she was driving back to the airport. Her mother was sitting beside her at the back of the car. The poet looked at her mother. She saw that her mother was sleeping and her mouth was open. She further explains that the color of her mother's face was like that of ash. This means that she, her mother's face was smoky appearance. She looked like a dead body. She compared her mother with a dead body. The color of the mother's face has been compared to that of a corpse. Corpse here means dead body. The poetess realized that her mother had grown old. She felt pain for her. But soon she tried to get rid of this sad thought by diverting her thoughts towards the trees. The young trees, although seemed to be running very fast, as though they were sprinting. Sprinting means running very fast. She also saw children coming out of their homes into the playground. All these things were full of energy, contrary to her mother who sat next to her. The poet then continues when she reached the airport. She finished with the security check and stood a few yards away from her mother. She noticed that her mother's aging face, which looked so dull, weak and pale. The poet compares her mother to a late winter's moon as the moon in winters is not shiny and even mother's face had also lost her youth and shine. As her mother was getting older and weak, the poet feels the fear of separation just as she used to feel during her childhood. As a child, she could not bear the pain of separating from her mother. But now, as her mother has grown old and is about to die, the poet feels that maybe this is the last time that she is seeing her mother. She tries to hide her fear. She then says that she would soon see her mother again. She says so because she does not want to lose her mother. She, overcome, she overcomes her fears and sorrows. On a positive note, she says to her mother that they would meet again soon. But in her, she knows that maybe next time she is not going to see her mother because she has become so old.
that smile the last line of the poem i said was see you soon amma all i did was smile smile and smile smile here is a repeated again to lay emphasis to put stress on it as she was putting a lot of effort and courage to smile because she was hiding her fear from her mother she knows that her mother's end may be near her mother is going to die but with the courage she put a lot of effort and courage to hide her fear let's start with the new word of this poem doze a short or light sleep ashen pale or like an ash corpse a dead body sprinting here means shooting out of the ground spilling here to move out in great numbers one unnaturally pale as from physical or emotional distress 